Hey, 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 girlfriend. All right. Today, I can't move my thing over. It's okay. It's okay. We're going to talk about journaling. I just want to um, not tell you how to journal, but I'm going to tell you to let go of the perfectionism, back up, and just let it flow. So that's what we're going with. Just let it flow. Um, I was talking to someone today, and they were um, well, really all the time, a lot of times, because that's always... For me, and if you're a part of my group, my tribe, I'm going to tell you, did you write it down? <laughs> like, write it down. Um, because your brain gets full all day. So your brain is full because you're thinking about things from the past, present, and the future. And you become, you start to get these anxious feelings. And then I notice that sometimes what people tell me is, you know, well, Whitney, I don't want to journal because um, I don't know how to. And I'll usually like, what do you mean you don't know how? And it's just like, well, it's not, I don't do it right. And I'm like, okay, well, well, again, you know, clarify, what does that mean? And so what I've come to find out is that sometimes people have this expectation that journaling is supposed to be something pretty and perfect. And it's not. Um, I don't have a journal, a journal by me to show you, but it's not. If you look at my journal, sometimes they have, it it will have, no, they, because I got a lot of them, will have like, two and three sentences on one page and that was all I needed. <laughs> and I dated it and I turned it. That's it. Um, sometimes it won't be like written this way. It might be this way. And if it's if it's one that I keep by the bed, if it's one, excuse me, that I keep by the bed, um, it may even be like upside. It just depends on how I could grab it to write what I needed to write. It's not perfect. And I think that's the beauty for me in journaling, especially a spiritual practice, because spirituality is not perfect. There's no perfect way to connect to the divine, you come as you are. And if you're going to come as you are, then you're going to come the way you are and you're not perfect. So therefore you wouldn't come perfectly. You're going to come respectfully, but you're not going to come perfectly. So don't put all these, don't put all this stigma or all these attachments. Yeah. Don't put all these attachments to journaling, um, rules. Don't put all these rules to away. If I do it today, I got to do it tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow. No, you don't. I do recommend that if you do struggle with having a lot of thoughts in your head to do it before bed, because sometimes those those thoughts could be, you know, like, what am I going to do tomorrow? I got X, Y, and Z I got to do. I got to take the kids here, or I got to make sure that I do my laundry. I got to make sure I got the food ready. Um, somebody's calling me and they want me to do all this. There is, do not go to sleep with that in your head. Put it in the journal, write it all down, and then don't worry about trying to figure it out. Get up early enough in the morning to figure it out. But that's what you use that journal for, because you're going to honor the thought by putting it on paper. Thank you you know, mind for letting me know that this is something that, that, um, I need to remember. Let me put it on paper. That's it. Put it on paper, flip the page and then put a little gratitude on there too, but don't make it harder than what it needs to be. And don't stop. Don't let that hinder you from writing. Don't let that hinder you from connecting. So don't be so harsh on yourself about journaling. Let it go. Uh, if you're, I can't even say that. I can't even think of nothing like any reason why it would be perfect. This is not English class. This is not art. This is not, we're not in class. You're not in my class. And even if you are in my class, that's not how I say, I don't say, you know, well, how'd you write that? um, How'd you write those feelings? Did you go across the line? Was that right? It doesn't have to be perfect. Let go of perfectionism. Let go. It's just a journal. It's a piece of paper that says, hey, I'll collect all your thoughts. And the brain is like, thank you, because I can't file all this shit because she got shit all over the place just flying around. You struggle during the day because of all the anxious thoughts. You struggle before you go to bed because all these thoughts that keep ruminating, put them on paper so you can consciously pick up what you're thinking about. You need to face you. That's why I always say turn the mirror around. Quit trying to show other people what they're doing. Turn the mirror around. You need to face you and your thoughts. Then you need to have a good conversation with yourself. Well, why are you even thinking those thoughts about yourself if it's something negative? But if it's something that you need to do, then you need to check in. Like, how's my routine? What's going on? If I'm worried about laundry instead of having a day when I can do laundry, you know, if it's a a fluke and like, oh, I forgot or something happened, you couldn't get to it. That's different. But if this is something that, you know, you do continually, then put it in a routine. We thrived when we were kids going to school on routine. We knew that we were going to eat here, go to art here, go do band here. Come on, y'all. Stop playing. I'm going to need you to go back. Back it up. You know, that's what we did. That's what we did. And that's how we thrive. At least the millennials. We I think we was the last ones that got to truly like go outside and play and do things like that. But let it be simple. Let it be easy. All right. My name is Whitney Radford McGee from WhitneyRadfordMcGee.com. I keep forgetting that part. If you have <laughs> check in with me, uh, if you got any questions, let me know. I hope that you have a great day. Click the link below if you got questions. All right. Bye. <laughs>